it makes me want to have a bowl. <laughs> um, and we drive on, guys, because um, a past guest of the show um, uh, from America, this was uh, Darren White, Sher- ex-Sheriff Darren White, um, who was a guest on the show before, who's uh, the CEO of a Pure, Pure Life, um, which is a cannabis production company over in America, um, in Texas, actually, to be more specific. Um, but Darren White was the sheriff there in Texas uh, and a uh, drug czar. Um, so he's completely, like, fucking gone 180 on his position before where he believed, you know, that uh, cannabis and drugs, that they're, they're fucking deadly and dangerous and that the authorities need to do all that they can in order to prevent people access to him. He's now providing access to one of the fucking most common narcotics that he was targeting um, in his war on drugs as a sheriff and a drug czar. Um, so go back, check out that interview if you haven't already checked it out with uh, Darren White, Sheriff Darren White. Um, not too sure which episode number that was, but uh, it wouldn't be too hard to find anyway. Sher- Sheriff Darren White on Martin's World Podcast. Um, we have a great old conversation there as to his past, as to things he's done and his feelings now reflecting back upon some of the things he's done in his past and, and also talking about what it's like to run a cannabis production company then um, in Texas. Um, Texas have recently allowed now for um, adults who don't need cannabis for medicinal reasons to get access to it, whereas when I talked to Darren um, during that episode, they could only sell it to medical cannabis uh, consumers um, Darren said it in the podcast at the time that once they're allowed uh, to sell to adults just openly who don't need it for med- medical reasons, that his business was going to maybe triple, it, it, possibly even quadruple. Um, that's how popular cannabis is over there. Um, so he says, I was wrong about cannabis as a... F- and uh, yeah, he was wrong about cannabis. <laughs> Um, so the former Irish American police chief on his Breaking Bad conversion. <laughs> that was the headline there over on uh, the Irish Examiner. So again, another very positive headline in the Irish news. A very positive article there outlining the cannabis trade um, in America, which is, uh, it, w- it was great. It's, it's a great contribution to the movement there. So thanks very much, Darren White. And um, to... You know, your contribution here to the movement it's definitely helping and it's only going to add to the momentum that is currently there because I'd imagine now there's going to be a lot of people who would read this that would have been fence or even supporters of prohibition um, who might now jump over the fence or maybe jump up on the fence and sit in it um, which is fucking either as an improvement like you know whether, as long as they're not on the prohibition side anymore like uh, happy bloody days I would much rather see them sitting on the fence than sitting on the side with the uh, the, the prohibitionists so th- this is only going to help this is a, a great uh, contribution here to the movement and uh, thanks very much Darren for that um, also thanks very much to Mastawis uh, who got in and all uh, supported the show there earlier and saying go on to Tidy Buds crew yes up the Tidy Buds <laughs> I look forward to getting out with the tidy buds there and uh, cleaning up some of Ireland's streets in the not too distant future as well. Another great way for us to demonstrate uh, our our great community that we have. <laughs> it makes me want to have a bowl. 